Virginia Senator Tim Kaine announced that his guest will be the nation's very first IVF baby in light of Alabama's decision that embryos created through in vitro fertilization should be considered children. Steve Solis is here to tell us more about Washington State's first IVF baby, Steve. Yeah, Joyce, Kathy and Patrick Easter from Brush Prairie say that they decided to try IVF because Kathy had to have her fallopian tubes removed before their marriage. Now, the process which was very new back then, was successful. In 1983, Kathy gave birth to their son Chris, making headlines along the way as the first birth of its kind here in our state. Both Kathy and Patrick say that Chris is not only their son, but also their best friend, and that he gave them the chance to leave a namesake behind. With Alabama's decision to give embryos personhood, Kathy says that we are opening doors to questions we cannot answer. I'm in my 70s now. What would I do with a frozen embryo? And what would happen to that embryo if I were to die tomorrow? Who inherits the embryo? What are the rights of that? You know, that's an embryo. If you go the way Alabama's going, I'm going, okay, that's going to come into a lot of things that we can't answer and we shouldn't have to. And actually, it, that embryo actually is my property. It's not the government's property. Alabama's governor yesterday signed legislation shielding doctors from potential legal liability after they paused IVF services, but the embryo ruling still stands. As for whether the president will address that controversy tonight, we should find out in less than an hour from now. Joyce.